Okay, in this presentation we're going to be looking at a level zero diagram example. As you can already see, we already have our external entities, planning department, receiving department, and supplier already copied over from our context diagram, along with the five data flows that we also identified. In the context diagram, we looked at what happened outside of the main process, the purchasing system. Now in the level zero diagram, we want to see what actually happens inside the main process or the purchasing system. Therefore, all data flows and external entities that we identified in the context diagram have to be copied down exactly the same in your level zero diagram. Location is not an issue. It is quantity and labeling. Okay, in this particular case here, we need to see what happens within the processing symbol. So now, we're going to be looking at uh, the planning department is sending a material requirement out. So what we need to do is change that data flow from an input into a data flow output. So we're going to make a process called order material. So the material requirement will go into it and the actual order will actually be sent to the supplier. Of course, one of the new functions of a level zero diagram is actually having data stores. In this particular case, we're going to make one called purchase order. This is where our purchase orders will actually be filed for later use. So once we send our order to the supplier, we'll also be sending the purchase order to the file for later storage. The receiving department itself is sending out a receipt confirmation. As with all paperwork, it should actually be stored in a location. So therefore, we are actually going to make ourselves a receipt file. But we cannot go directly from an external entity to a data store. There has to be a process in between. So what we will do is make a process in between and we're going to label it update receipt file. Once again, it is an action. And from there, the receipts will be uploaded into the file. But, of course, once we send the order to the supplier, they'll be sending us the goods. And with any goods that you actually purchase, they also send you an invoice. So once we send the invoice, obviously we will check it. But, of course, the main thing that the supplier is after is to make sure that they actually get paid for goods and services that they have delivered. So we need to decide what to pay them. And the way we can do that is by actually retrieving the order details to check against the invoice. And receipt details as well. As with the data store in particular, it always has to have an input so we can see how data is getting within to that store. But in this particular case, we've decided to have data outputs as well when it actually comes to them. After we decide what to pay, we then need to pay the supplier. So, we're sending the payment authorization. So, 
So now we have a completed level zero diagram based on the context diagram that we drew earlier. Obviously more complicated and more detailed than the context diagram. Remember, in the level zero diagram, we looked at what actually happened inside the main process, which was the purchasing system. Everything within that red dotted circle used to be the purchasing system from our context diagram. Context diagram, we looked at what happened outside that system. Level zero, we looked inside it. Now we'll actually be having, supplying you with some text, and from that text, we'll work towards making a context and a level zero diagram.